Have you ever wondered why you have to work so hard to complete an assignment? I'm sure you have thought to yourself, why can't I just relax and do this later? I have learned that we should always work hard first so that later we can have the time to relax and do what we want instead of putting it off and suffering from increasing pressure to complete it because it, the deadline is upon us. Hi, my name is Colton Lum and I believe that you should always work hard and put your full effort into everything you do. Nothing great happens without effort and hard work. Positive results will always almost be a reward, and there is always the chance that someone next to you will want your goal more than, and they will work harder than you if you are putting in the full effort. What is this reward? Sometimes it's a feeling of completion, that oh so satisfying sigh of relief. Maybe it's being proud of completing a hard task or getting to sleep late at night after a marathon. My reward for working extra hard is more free time. I love free time. Free time allows me to think and I am get refreshed. To have some uh, fun and do whatever it is that I want to do. To me, free time is one of those most important things one can have. Why should you work hard? You weren't born into being great at something. Success requires, uh, requires a lot of hard work. Ask any successful person. The most successful people are the ones who spend hours on their specialty. Focused hard work is the real key to success. Keep your eyes on the goal and just keep taking the step next step towards completing it. John Carmack, the video game designer, said if you aren't sure which way to do something, do it both ways and see which works better. The end goal is something you should always keep in mind. Never lose sight of what you're striving towards. For me, it's a promise of free time and the chance to relax. If you cannot reach your the goal line of it, of it, it uh, seems the goal is too far away. It just means you have a little more work to do, and it is not yet time to reach that end goal. That oh so sweet free time. I have learned this lesson in sixth grade when I started to get overwhelmed by the amount of homework we had, and I felt like I didn't have enough time to finish my work so I could have the time to, to enjoy my free time. Instead of ignoring the homework that was due next week, which would later pile up, I started to complete the assignments ahead of time, and I learned to enjoy hard work. In previous years, I would have to set aside the work so I could would play in my backyard. That, not, that meant I had to struggle in the long run with the time management. When I made this change to be proactive when doing my assignments, it helped me lower my workload in the next week, and I had to more time to enjoy my free time. And I felt good about myself, that I could actually see my results from changing, challenging and sometimes painful work. Dwayne Johnson, a famous actor, said, success isn't always about greatness, it's about consistency. Constant hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. In movie Moana, his character Maui had to face his fears. This means he had to constantly be brave and challenge himself with things he thought he could not do like when he fought to feed. Even though uh, he knew she was more powerful than he was, he did what he had to do and fought her anyway. Hold on, okay, hold on. That doesn't mean you can go off and punch your homework, no matter how much that paper asks for. What it does mean, you need to work smart, be more efficient, look for ways to, better, uh, to be better organized. As our teachers always say, learn from your mistakes. In the book of Proverbs, has many verses about hard work. The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. All hard work brings a profit. Mere talk leads only to poverty. The writer of the book of Proverbs reminds us that while sometimes life isn't fair and our hard work doesn't pay off, most of the time our effort is rewarded. If we toil and strive, we achieve our goal, and if we rush or get distracted, we don't. That's why we need to hug that homework and not run away from it and practice doing your best so we learn to, how to achieve our goals. Pay attention to the steps and the success at every step rather than the end goal. My mom says, look at the work in appetizer side pieces instead of the full entree. So you don't get overwhelmed. We'll look at it like pearls, jumping over one at a time. Take small steps forward. The success from working hard is available to everyone. That means Everyone here today, if you put the work in, your effort will pay off. To me, the end goal refers to a reward, a job well done, or in my case, 
free time. Yes, I say free time. It's like a holy grail of I within the dark ages. No, it is not fancy, it's reality. I get to play video games, watch a show, or go outside and feel free. For you, it might be a good grade or sweets, or a, f a, or a feeling of to be free. For you, it might be pride and accomplishment. Your determination and a willingness to work hard will help you succeed at whatever you're working on. If you work diligent and efficiently, you will get the opportunity to earn your reward, whatever that might be. Give it a try, and I promise you will feel more free. Thank you.